Hello, it's me, Corona AV, and this is the Recreation Series. I'm recreating Super Flourish, and today I will show you how camera follows player. Let's get started. In this video, first of all, we have to make a boundary around the player so that it doesn't fall or keep on falling when the game starts. So first of all, I will bring a background to our scene and then put some walls around it. Then select those walls and put a box collider or let's say add a box collider to it. And then I will add a circle collider to our play. So now when we play the game, it won't keep on falling. Awesome. Now there is like two lines of code to make camera follow player. So let's just click on camera, add component, and click on new script. Then let's name it player follow script. Done. Now open up Visual Studio. And in Visual Studio, let's first set our target by writing public transform target. This helps our camera to know what it should follow. So save this, go to Unity, click on camera and and in the target section, which is empty right now, drag and drop our player. Now our camera knows what it should follow. Now in Visual Studio and in an update function, write transform.position is equal to new vector 3 inside a bracket target.position.x, target.position.y, transform.position.x. Z. So basically this lengthy code makes our camera's position equal to our player's position when we start playing the game. Awesome. Now save the game and go back to Unity and when you hit play, the camera starts following the player. Done. So from a learning standpoint, this method is great but if you actually want to make a game of your own i prefer you use cinemachine so there is how you do it go to windows package manager and type cinemachine in the search box so type cinemachine in the search box and install it after installing it first of all remove your own code for now and at the top you will see cinemation click on it click on it and create a 2d camera now in this 2d camera controller you will see follow written here drag your player and place it to that follow and now when you play the game, camera will again start following the player. Now I recommend this, this method because it is more easier to use and even more powerful than making your own script. You'll have less mistakes and overall creating a game will be really fun. So if you want to know more about Cinemachine, then let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching, I'll see you next time.